Habits that destroy your mental strength. Have you ever found yourself wondering why some people can face challenges with such ease, while others seem to crumble in the face of adversity? Is there a secret to having a strong and resilient mind? In reality, what often prevents us from being mentally strong isn't the big challenges, but rather the small daily habits that silently erode our mental strength. Today we're going to uncover the 11 habits that are undermining your mental strength and discover how the wisdom of the Stoics can help us overcome them. Get ready for a journey of self-discovery and transformation that begins right now. Are you ready to strengthen your mind and live more fully? 1. Weak Mental Habits When we talk about mental fortitude, we often focus solely on building new capabilities and robust practices. But have you ever paused to reflect on those habits that, instead of strengthening us, are actually undermining our mental strength? These habits can be subtle and go unnoticed, but their influence is profound and often harmful. Today, let's explore some of these weak mental habits that might be hindering your personal and professional growth. Have you ever found yourself dwelling on past mistakes or excessively worrying about the future? This is a classic example of a weak mental habit. Excessive worry and rumination not only drain our mental energy but also prevent us from fully living in the present. Here's a question for reflection. What could you achieve if this energy was redirected toward constructive and present-focused actions? Another habit that often goes unnoticed is constantly comparing yourself to others. In a world driven by social media, it's easy to fall into the trap of comparing our lives to the filtered and idealized versions we see online. This behavior is not only unfair to ourselves, but can also erode our self-esteem and sense of self-worth. Additionally, the inability to set healthy boundaries is another habit that debilitates our mental health. Saying yes to everything and everyone may seem like a way to be friendly and helpful, but it often leads to overload and burnout. Let me ask you, do you really need to sacrifice your well-being to meet others' expectations? Now, let's turn these reflections into action. I invite you to take a personal inventory of your own mental habits. Which ones do you identify as weak in your life? How can we transform these destructive patterns into strengthening practices? Let's embark on a journey of self-discovery and growth, recognizing and replacing these habits with ones that nurture our mind and spirit. Remember, each step you take to abandon a weak mental habit is a step towards a fuller and more resilient life. Have you identified any weak mental habits in your life? How have they affected your personal and professional growth? Share your thoughts in the comments. 2. Harmful Behaviors As we navigate through daily life, many of us adopt behaviors that while they may seem harmless or even productive at first glance, are actually undermining our mental strength. These harmful behaviors can be so ingrained in our routine that we don't even notice their negative impact. Today, let's shed light on these practices and discuss how we can replace them with healthier actions. One such behavior is procrastination. Have you ever postponed an important task only to feel even more anxious and overwhelmed later? Procrastination not only creates a cycle of stress and guilt, but also hinders our progress toward our goals. Imagine the relief and satisfaction of completing tasks in a timely manner. How would your life change if you transformed procrastination into proactivity? Another common behavior is neglecting self-care. In a society that values productivity above all else, it's easy to forget to take care of our physical and mental health. Let me ask you, how many times have you sacrificed a good night's sleep to finish a project or ignored the need for a break during a busy day? This neglect of self-care is a true attack on our energy and mental capacity. 
Additionally, the lack of assertive communication can be tremendously harmful. Many of us avoid confrontations or don't express our needs clearly, leading to misunderstandings and resentment. By not communicating our expectations and boundaries clearly, we put our mental peace at risk. Now, how about we transform these behaviors? Start by identifying which of these patterns are present in your life. How about setting small goals to gradually change these behaviors? For example, you could start by prioritizing your sleep and exercise, or perhaps practicing assertive communication in low-risk situations to build confidence. Remember, each conscious choice to abandon a harmful behavior is a victory over our old limitations. Let's commit to cultivating practices that reinforce our mental health and overall well-being. What harmful behavior have you noticed in your daily routine? How do you think you can start changing it? Share your ideas in the comments. 3. Identifying and preventing negative habits. Identifying and preventing negative habits is a crucial step in improving our quality of life and strengthening our mental resilience. These habits often form quietly, but once recognized, we can take proactive steps to transform them. Today, let's explore effective strategies for preventing these habits and promoting a healthier and more positive lifestyle. First and foremost, awareness is key. It's essential to be mindful of our daily routines and recognize patterns that might be harmful. For instance, have you noticed that you tend to get more stressed when you don't plan your day in advance? Or maybe you feel more anxious when you spend excessive time on social media. Taking note of these triggers is the first step toward change. Once negative habits are identified, the next step is conscious substitution. This strategy involves replacing a harmful habit with one that is beneficial. If you've found that procrastination increases your stress, why not try time management techniques like the Pomodoro technique? For every focused work period, reward yourself with a short break, promoting a sustainable work rhythm. Additionally, community support is invaluable. Sharing your habit-changing goals with friends, family or support groups can provide the motivation and encouragement needed to maintain these changes. Have you thought about joining a group that shares similar goals? The journey to overcoming negative habits can be much more encouraging and effective with the right support. Finally, it's important to practice self-compassion. Habit change is a process, and sometimes we will face setbacks. Instead of harshly criticizing yourself, why not treat yourself with the same kindness you would offer a friend? Remember, Every small progress is a step forward in your personal growth journey. By adopting these strategies, awareness, conscious substitution, community support, and self-compassion, you will be well equipped to prevent and transform negative habits, leading to a significant improvement in your quality of life. What negative habits have you identified recently? And what strategies are you using to prevent them? Share your experiences in the comments. 4. Valuable Concepts and Practical Strategies Strengthening the mind and increasing resilience in the face of challenges are valuable goals that we all aspire to achieve. The good news is that there are fundamental concepts and practical strategies that can help us reach these goals. Let's explore these ideas and discover how to apply them in our daily lives to cultivate a stronger and more resilient mind. A powerful concept to start with is the growth mindset, coined by psychologist Carol Dweck. She describes the growth mindset as the belief that our abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. This contrasts with a fixed mindset, where people believe their talents are innate and unchangeable. By adopting a growth mindset, we open the door to continuous learning and become more resilient in the face of failures. I ask you, how could your life improve if you saw challenges as opportunities for growth instead of insurmountable obstacles? Furthermore, emotional resilience is essential. This can be strengthened through techniques such as emotional regulation, 
Learning to understand and manage our emotions can help mitigate the impact of stress and adversity. A useful technique is mindfulness meditation, which teaches us to observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment, providing greater mental clarity and inner peace. Have you tried dedicating a few minutes of your day to meditate and observe what happens with your emotions? Gratitude is also an incredibly effective strategy. Keeping a gratitude journal or simply taking a moment each day to reflect on what we are thankful for can significantly increase our life satisfaction and reduce feelings of depression and anxiety. Imagine starting and ending your day by acknowledging something positive. How could this change your daily perspective? Last but not least, resilience can be built through social support. Cultivating positive relationships and seeking support when needed not only provides us with an emotional safety net, but also helps us face and overcome life's challenges. Who are the people in your life who offer support and encouragement? How can you strengthen these connections? Adopting these concepts and strategies can transform your way of facing challenges and improve your quality of life. Are you ready to embark on this journey of mental strength and resilience, equipped with new tools and a renewed perspective? Which concept or practical strategy do you find most useful for strengthening your mind? How do you plan to incorporate it into your daily life? Leave your comment below. 5. Constant complaining. Constantly complaining is a habit that many of us adopt without realizing the profound impact it can have on our mental health and overall well-being. This practice can quickly lead us into a spiral of negativity, where everything seems worse than it actually is. Today, let's understand how this cycle forms and discuss how acceptance can be a powerful tool to strengthen the mind and cultivate a more positive perspective. Complaining might initially seem like a way to vent our frustrations, but in the long run, it reinforces a negative worldview. When we consistently focus on what's wrong, our brain begins to form the habit of seeking out and highlighting problems, often ignoring the positives or potential solutions. This not only increases our stress levels, but can also affect our physical health by increasing inflammation and lowering immunity. Now imagine transforming this tendency to complain into a practice of acceptance. Acceptance doesn't mean resignation or passivity, but rather recognizing situations as they are without excessive judgment. By accepting circumstances, especially those we cannot change, we release the mental energy consumed by frustration and open up space for a calmer and more objective approach. Acceptance also allows us to focus on what we can control. For example, while we cannot control someone else's behavior, we can control how we respond to it. This shift in focus is crucial for building resilience and a positive mindset. Let me ask you, what situations in your life, if accepted, could free you to focus on more productive and satisfying actions Furthermore, integrating practices like mindfulness can strengthen this ability of acceptance. Mindfulness teaches us to observe our thoughts and feelings without criticism or urgency to react, which can be incredibly liberating. By practicing regularly, you may start to notice a reduction in your tendency to complain and an increase in your ability to face challenges with balance and clarity. I encourage you to make small changes towards acceptance in your daily life. Be mindful of the times you complain and question what can be accepted or changed constructively. Each step in this direction not only improves your mental health, but also transforms your life experience into something more positive and enriching. Do you find yourself complaining frequently? How can you turn complaining into acceptance and constructive action? Share your thoughts in the comments. 6. Excessive worrying about the future. Excessively worrying about the future is a common habit that can significantly impact our mental health and quality of life. This constant worry keeps us trapped in a cycle of anxiety, preventing us from enjoying the present and even from making effective decisions. 
Today, let's explore the impact of this worry and discuss how we can cultivate the ability to live more fully in the present moment. Worrying excessively about what's to come often robs us of the joy of the now. When we are constantly anxious or fearful about the future, our bodies and minds operate under chronic stress. This can lead to health issues like insomnia, high blood pressure, and a weakened immune system. Additionally, this ongoing anxiety can prevent us from appreciating the small victories and moments of happiness that occur in daily life. The key to combating this excessive worry is to cultivate a strong presence in the current moment, known as mindfulness. This practice involves consciously focusing our attention on the here and now, observing our thoughts, feelings and sensations without judgment. This doesn't mean ignoring the future, but recognizing that the only moment we truly control is the present. To start practicing mindfulness, you can try simple breathing exercises or meditation. Dedicate a few minutes of your day to simply breathe deeply and observe your inhalations and exhalations. This small act can help center you and reduce anxiety. I ask you, what change could you notice in your life if you began dedicating a few minutes daily to this practice? Another effective strategy is to set daily goals and concerns. Instead of overwhelming yourself with long-term worries, focus on short-term objectives that you can achieve. This can make the future seem less intimidating and more manageable. Additionally, celebrate each achievement along the way. This reinforces the idea that you are making progress, which can diminish anxiety about the future. By adopting these practices and shifting your focus to the present, you can significantly reduce excessive worry and enhance your quality of life. How has excessive worrying about the future impacted your life? What can you do to live more in the present? Share your ideas in the comments. 7. Relentless Pursuit of Pleasure The relentless pursuit of pleasure is a theme that touches many people's lives, especially in our modern society that often values hedonism and instant gratification. This constant desire to satisfy immediate pleasures might seem rewarding in the short term, but often leads to a vicious cycle of insatiable desires and fleeting satisfaction. Today, let's explore how this incessant search for pleasure can impact our lives and discuss ways to find a healthier balance. Dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with the sensation of reward and pleasure, plays a central role in this process. Every time we experience something pleasurable, whether it's eating our favorite dish, buying something new, or getting likes on a social media post, our brain releases dopamine. This makes us feel good momentarily, but the sensation is fleeting, leading us to seek the next source of pleasure to maintain that feeling. This continuous pursuit can create a cycle where we are never truly satisfied, always craving more. This phenomenon is often compared to a hamster wheel, running incessantly without getting anywhere. I ask you, how gratifying is it really to live in a constant loop of desire and momentary gratification? To break this cycle, one approach is to adopt the philosophy of sustainable hedonism, which seeks pleasures that contribute to long-term well-being rather than instant and fleeting gratifications. This can include activities like physical exercise, meditation, learning new skills, or dedicating time to creative projects. These activities are not only rewarding in themselves, but also bring lasting benefits to our mental and physical health. Another strategy is to cultivate gratitude. By practicing gratitude regularly, we begin to appreciate what we already have instead of constantly focusing on what's lacking. This can help us feel more satisfied with our lives and reduce the constant need to seek new stimuli. Additionally, it's important to recognize when the pursuit of pleasure is being used as a way to escape underlying issues such as stress, anxiety, or depression. In these cases, seeking professional help to address these issues in a healthy and sustainable manner can be beneficial. 
By finding a balance between the pursuit of pleasure and lasting satisfaction, we can avoid the vicious cycle of insatiable desires and instead cultivate a richer and more fulfilling life. Do you feel trapped in a cycle of constantly seeking immediate pleasure? How can you find a healthier balance? Share your suggestions in the comments. 8. Lack of self-discipline. Self-discipline is an essential skill for anyone seeking a more balanced and controlled life. It acts as a regulator between our momentary impulses and long-term goals, allowing us to make choices that reflect our true values and objectives. Today, let's explore the importance of self-discipline and how we can develop it to improve our ability to control impulses and enjoy a more harmonious existence. The lack of self-discipline often leads us to succumb to immediate temptations that contradict our more significant goals. Whether it's procrastinating on an important task, overindulging in junk food, or spending hours on social media, each time we give in, we weaken our ability to make choices aligned with what we truly desire for our lives. The question that arises is, how can we strengthen our self-discipline to avoid these slips and direct our energy toward lasting achievements? First, it is crucial to set clear and realistic goals. When we have a well-defined objective, self-discipline transforms from an abstract concept into a concrete tool for achieving that end. For example, if your goal is to improve your physical health, establishing a regular exercise routine and a balanced diet can be a good starting point. These are not just goals, they are commitments to yourself. Additionally, creating routines can significantly enhance your self-discipline. Routines reduce the number of daily decisions we need to make, decreasing mental fatigue and making it easier to stay on course. You might start by incorporating small routines, such as preparing your meals for the week on Sundays, or dedicating a specific hour of the day to study or personal work. These habits, once established, can help solidify your self-discipline. Another effective strategy is monitoring progress. Keeping a journal or using an app to track your activities can provide a clear view of what you're doing well and where you need to improve. By visualizing your progress, you can feel more motivated to continue and even increase your efforts. Finally, it is important to cultivate emotional resilience. Self-discipline is not about being perfect all the time, but about knowing how to recover quickly after a slip. Learning to forgive yourself for occasional failures and understanding that each day brings a new opportunity to improve can be incredibly liberating and empowering. By cultivating these strategies, you will not only improve your self-discipline, but also discover that you are capable of leading a more deliberate and satisfying life. Are you ready to take the reins of your life and embrace the power of self-discipline? What areas do you feel lack self-discipline? What steps can you take to strengthen this skill? Share your answers in the comments. Nine. Constant comparison with others. Constantly comparing yourself to others is a behavior that many of us adopt, often subconsciously, especially in an era dominated by social media. This practice can have profoundly harmful effects on our self-esteem and happiness, trapping us in a cycle of dissatisfaction and self-criticism. Today, let's explore how this constant comparison can affect our lives and discuss strategies to cultivate a healthier and more authentic self-image. Constant comparison creates a kind of trap. By measuring our success, appearance or lifestyle against others, we often find ourselves lacking in some way. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy, envy and discontent. The problem is that we often compare our worst aspects with the best aspects of others, ignoring the struggles and challenges everyone faces. I wonder, how are these comparisons really serving you? Are they bringing happiness or contributing to a distorted self-image? One effective way to overcome this habit is to focus on self-development rather than competition. By concentrating on your own goals and progress, 
you can reduce the need for external validation. Set personal goals that are meaningful to you and dedicate yourself to achieving them, celebrating your successes regardless of what others might be doing. Another important strategy is practicing gratitude. By focusing on the things you appreciate in your life and in yourself, you can build a more positive and grateful perspective. Keeping a gratitude journal or simply taking a moment to reflect on what you are thankful for every day can be transformative. This can help you realize that while everyone's life has its ups and downs, there is always something valuable in your own experience. Additionally, it is crucial to limit exposure to social media if it is a source of negative comparison. Social media often presents an idealized and edited version of people's lives, which can distort reality. Allowing yourself to step back or moderate the use of these platforms can reduce the temptation of harmful comparisons. Finally, engage in activities that reinforce your self-esteem and sense of self-worth. This can include hobbies, volunteering, or spending time with supportive friends and family. Recognizing your own qualities and achievements can help you appreciate the unique journey that is your life, free from the shackles of comparison. Remember, the only valid comparison is between who you are today and who you were yesterday. Focusing on your own growth and well-being is the key to a more satisfied and happy life. Do you often compare yourself to others? How has it affected your self-esteem and happiness? What can you do to focus more on your own growth? Leave your comment below. 10. Denial of reality. Denial of reality is a defense mechanism that we often use to avoid facing painful or uncomfortable truths. While it may offer temporary relief, in the long term, this refusal to accept reality can prevent us from achieving true breakthroughs and personal growth. Today, let's explore how denial can affect our lives and discuss ways to approach reality in a healthier and more constructive manner. Denying reality often means ignoring facts, emotions or experiences that are fundamental to our existence. This can manifest in various ways such as refusing to acknowledge a health problem, avoiding confronting issues in a relationship, or not accepting negative feedback at work. This refusal not only prevents us from effectively resolving these issues, but can also lead to greater complications. For example, consider the question, the longer we take to address a health problem, the greater the consequences for our physical and mental well-being. To begin overcoming denial, it is crucial to cultivate self-awareness. This involves taking time to reflect on our emotions and behaviors and being open to recognizing when and why we are avoiding reality. Techniques like reflective writing, therapy, or honest conversations with trusted friends can help increase our self-awareness and encourage us to face the truths we are avoiding. Another important strategy is developing emotional resilience. Accepting reality can be emotionally challenging, especially when it involves recognizing mistakes or facing losses. Practicing skills like emotional regulation and seeking support from others can make this process more manageable. Strengthening our resilience allows us to deal with the truth more effectively, enabling us to learn and grow from our experiences. Additionally, adopting a growth mindset can be extremely beneficial. This means seeing challenges and setbacks as opportunities to learn and improve. Instead of hiding from the truth, we can embrace it as a catalyst for personal development and positive change. Finally, it is important to practice acceptance. Accepting reality does not mean being passive or resigned to negative situations, but rather recognizing the truth of the present moment as the first step to promoting meaningful changes. Acceptance empowers us to make informed and proactive decisions, leading to a more authentic and satisfying life. Overcoming denial and embracing reality is a vital step for personal growth and fulfillment. 
By facing the truth of our situation, we can make more informed and constructive choices, leading to a fuller and more enriching life. Is there a truth you have been avoiding facing? How could accepting this reality improve your life? Share your reflections in the comments. 11. Lack of resilience. Lack of resilience can be a major obstacle when dealing with life's challenges and adversities. Resilience, the ability to bounce back quickly from difficulties, is a crucial skill that strengthens the mind and allows for deep personal development. Today, let's explore the importance of facing challenges and adversities to build resilience and how we can effectively develop it. Life inevitably brings challenges that test our mental and emotional strength. Whether it's a personal loss, professional difficulties or health crises, facing these adversities is essential for personal growth. Avoiding these challenges might seem like a short-term solution, but in the long run, this avoidance can lead to stagnation and a diminished ability to handle future setbacks. The question then becomes, how can we transform these challenges into opportunities to strengthen our minds and build lasting resilience? An effective strategy for developing resilience is cultivating a positive mindset. This doesn't mean ignoring reality or suppressing negative emotions, but rather adopting a perspective that emphasizes learning and growth over despair and defeat. For example, when facing failure instead of self-criticism, ask yourself what you can learn from this experience and how you can use it to improve in the future. Another important practice is establishing and maintaining strong social connections. The support of friends, family and colleagues can be a fundamental pillar during tough times. These support networks not only offer emotional comfort, but can also provide practical advice and resources to help navigate adversities. Moreover, it is vital to develop healthy coping skills. This can include techniques such as mindfulness, regular physical exercise, and hobbies that promote well-being. These practices help maintain emotional balance and offer an outlet for stress and anxiety. It's also crucial to learn to accept and adapt to changes. Life is dynamic and often unpredictable. The ability to adapt to new circumstances is an essential trait of resilient people. Viewing change as a constant and learning to flow with it rather than resist it can significantly improve our ability to handle the unexpected. Facing challenges and adversities with courage and determination is fundamental to developing robust resilience. By cultivating a positive mindset, maintaining strong connections, developing healthy coping skills, and learning to adapt, you will not only survive difficulties, but also thrive despite them. Are you ready to start building a resilience that will transform your ability to face life's challenges? Let's embark on this journey of growth and strengthening together. Reflecting on the various topics covered from denial of reality to lack of resilience, and the importance of cultivating a growth mindset, it becomes evident that the path to strengthening our minds requires commitment and conscious action. Now I invite you to take a decisive step towards self-improvement and mental health. First, take an honest introspection to identify which of these habits you recognize in your own life. Have you been constantly comparing yourself to others procrastinating or perhaps denying certain uncomfortable truths. Each of us has areas of vulnerability that, when ignored, can hinder our growth and well-being. Once you identify these patterns, I challenge you to adopt practical measures to overcome them. This can include setting specific goals, seeking support from friends, family or professionals, and practicing mindfulness and gratitude techniques daily. Remember that changing deeply ingrained habits doesn't happen overnight. It's a process that requires persistence and patience. Additionally, I encourage you to engage with communities or groups that share the same goal of personal growth. There is immeasurable strength in mutual support and the exchange of experiences and strategies. 
Together, we can find inspiration and motivation to keep moving forward, even in the face of challenges. Finally, not only accept the challenges that arise, but embrace them as opportunities for strengthening. Each difficulty faced with courage is a lesson learned and a step towards a more resilient and capable version of yourself. Are you ready to embark on this transformative journey? I invite you to reflect on the areas of your life that most need change and to take concrete steps to transform these negative habits into fortresses of resilience and well-being. In the upcoming videos, we will delve even deeper into techniques and strategies to strengthen your mind. Subscribe to the channel, stay tuned, and be ready to transform your life one step at a time.